I hope, yes. So I have to use this camera this uh, today. Okay, the movie, the hero usually kicks the grind and it starts. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, you see me here on a little bit different. So you have a completely view over my office. So we need to talk about some different points today. So where is my, so here we go. Okay, guys. Trend and price, it's just such a great plan. I have to look at it. Oh my God, a little confusing today. So, but I hope you will cope this challenge together. So, I hope I have to look to uh, this webcam here on the other side today. So, but I guess uh, you will see uh, nevertheless the same thing like me. So, the presentation and my words, it's a little bit more uh, interesting than my face. Okay, guys. So, um, Wonderful good evening. I could have good afternoon. It's confusing today. I have to guess a little bit beer, I guess. I have to take a little bit beer. Okay, um, guys, wonderful good afternoon here at Admiral Markets and our trading spotlight series. Such a great pleasure to have you here and to be a part of this wonderful project where we want to introduce you in special basics like evergreens you can use for, for your um for your own trading as well so for all the guys that come in a little bit delay my cam is on the uh, on the corner on the other side don't worry don't be confusing uh, it's technical issues today so you have a bigger outlook about my office so um trend and price guys this is the point topic and it would be a great pleasure that you he he be a stay to the end of this webinar because uh, at the end of this webinar, I want to tell you what is coming uh, on Friday with my colleague. And uh, it's really important to stay for the next round 40 minutes here um, to talk about the trend and price and other really important for you. This is a great, great, uh, interesting information for you today, guys. So, and I can see the chat that I can see and my wonderful colleague from Admiral is supporting me there. Thanks and uh, enjoy, your meal. <laughs> enjoy your meal without beer. And uh, yes, if you have any question, guys, please type it in the chat box here in Zoom. I can see it and we can talk about uh, that. And uh, there's no secrets in trading, guys. And uh, we can to talk about everything uh, in uh, trading. Okay, so let's see. Let's start, of course. Our uh, agenda today, why are the trend and the price? I have to look in this camera, Jesus Christ. The price uh, important. And what role do they play in the trading strategy, of course? And what to look out for? How do you know it's a real trend? It's the right trend? Or is there existing a right and a wrong trend? And li a real life examples of the role of trend and price in trading. So we want to have a look, of course, at the uh, meta trader. Okay, that's me. That's not important. We are working. We are. Uh, I'm supporting here with uh, Admiral Markets, and it's such a great pleasure to work with this global player here. And I'm absolutely happy. You can see it's a forex and CFD trader with over eight thousand financial instruments in uh, offices in more than twenty countries. A global expertise with local support and license by FCA, FF, EFSA. Cyprus SEC and ASIC and you have, you know, we have the best broker here around the world, no minimum stop distances and typically spread for the best uh, Euro, US dollar, DEX 30 and so on. So let's go on. My screenshot key will break <laughs> if I keep using it. <laughs> okay, uh, so Vincenzo, I'm so happy that you always be a part of this webinar. And of course, as you can see about the names around the world, it's such a good pleasure to have you here. And so I'm really feeling honored to work with you around the world, wherever you are. Wherever you are. So guys, let's talk about today about the price and the trend. The price, and we will start with the uh, explanation of the price. So maybe you are sitting in front of your PC now and you are thinking by yourself, what the hell, why are we talking about the price? Hmm. It's a big, big misunderstanding in trading, guys, that people think they would trade the DAX or Euro USD or Dow Jones 
or Cable or the Ninja or the Kiwi or the Aussie, Aussie. Uh, that's wrong. Believe me, that's really, really wrong. Why? It's easy. Because you trade the price of that underlying, of that asset. You trade the price. It has a special worth. Uh, it has a special value, guys. And this is a completely different view to the market. Yes, of course, in the left corner, you see DAX 30. You see Dow 30. You see Euro USD. But you don't trade that. You trade the price of that pair, of that underlying. And the price is the foundation of every kind of trading, guys. The price will give you a deep insight into your underlying asset. With the price, you can know if you have the right indicator for it, that you can, for that, that you can show it, that you can see it, that will, you can see with it if you, are, if you have a fair value price right now. If you are in an overbought session, uh, in an, um, if you're not overbought, if you're on unfair value price session, uh, price section, or a fair price section. So we have a market profile, we have the price profile, and this is really important because it's foundation, the price information, and it gives you a deep insight because you have to know it. Sometimes you think, okay, why is the price, why is the this, uh, oil, euro, US dollar not moving right now? You can, maybe we see a sideways phase. Okay, sometimes you see, I don't, you, you think, ah, I don't know, just damn sideways phase. But if you would have the price information, you would be able to see that we are fair valued at the price, that we are at this called so-called point of control. That's a real interesting point, point of control. And if you don't have this price information, ladies and gentlemen, you are stumbling blind into the market. And this is really important because it's like in our life, if you go to a shop, you know, Strawberries, for example, are really cheap because we have season. If you are out of the season for strawberries, you have to pay double or uh, triple more than in a normal price or in a cheap. But the cheap price, it's special offer. And the high price, it's not always forever lasting. Because sometimes you have season and sometimes you don't have a season. But most of the times, you have a balance. You have a balance and you have, then you have a fair value price. So you go to the shop and say, okay, it's okay. I have to pay $1 for a pocket or for a box of strawberries, for example. So, or tomatoes or something else, whatever you buy. So, and this is what you have to know about the price. So you will always trade the price and not some underlyings. Okay, that's the name, but you have to look in trading guys behind the scenes. And behind the scenes means you are trading the price. And this is for my uh, understanding really, really important. So, and as a result of the price, oh, let's go back one point. I want to say to you, what is the, what is the task? Um, of the exchange, forex market, future market of the stock exchange, for example. What's the task? What is the only job they have to do? To make the best price in balance. That's the point. They have to make the balance between suppliers and demand at the best price. But does it take? Of course, at the point of control. And around the point of control, you have 70% of fair price section or area. Here's the camera of the area. Yeah, sorry for that. So guys, uh, then go on. At the, as a result of the price, the trend occurs. Oh, now we have the jump, we have to jump from price to trend. 
Why? Hmm. If you have more buyers at a special point of a price, cause more buyers can see or are able to see that the price is really cheap, then you have more buyers. And if you have a high price, the price is very expensive. The, tip, the people they bought very cheap. Of course, that's the nature of trading. That's the nature of that business. Ch buy cheap and sell expensive. So now you know why the markets always go up from unfair price value back to fair and up to unfair to expensive. This is the real point, guys. So, and now you know why mostly after every movement, a correction will come back to the fair price. We trade prices. So, and the result of the price of this consistently changing from cheap to expensive and fair valued, we have trends. Because you know, we have different time frames from the tick chart, minute, five minute, 50 minutes, one hour, one day, one week, one month, one year. And we have different traders in different time frames. So you have a different uh, fair value price in one minute to one hour. That is, uh, that's the fact in trading. So guys, as a result, the trend occurs about the consistently changing of supply and demand, of course. So, um, while prices were traded in the order book, the first trend is visible in the tick chart. And this is really important. So the tick chart, that's next line here, is the heritage of the order book. And I hope, <laughs> Vincenzo, press the screenshot button, please. <laughs> this is really important. The tick chart. The tick chart is the heritage of the order book. So in the order book, you only can see numbers. Let's have a view on it. Let's keep an eye on it. And afterwards, the different, so the tick chart is the first visible chart and possible trend you can see in trading. And the, afterwards, the different trend sizes are more important than your used time frame. So the tick chart is a really important tool because it shows you in a visible case, in a visible, how should I say, um, in a visible kind, what is happen in the book map. And afterwards, the software makes the rest. The software makes and press the tick chart together to one minute, five minute, or what you use in your, in your, uh, in your software, that's it's a question of your software. So, what role does the price play, guys? What role? The alpha and omega of trading is, guys, the book map or the order book. And it's a, it's a shortcut, it's a funny name, the book map or the order book. But what can you see in the order book? Only one thing numbers guys you only can see numbers yes when i backtest my eas i always use tick data yes that's true you, you need it for you need to do that so in the order book you will only find numbers you cannot see an expert advisor there in order book you cannot see a trend you cannot see a moving average you cannot see Fibonacci. You cannot see some indicators or oscillators. No, you only can see numbers in the order book. And as a heritage of that numbers, 
the tick shot will occur after that as a visible heritage of the numbers of that the red uh, the third rum, uh, row here the foundation is supply and demand of prices and that is everything what you can see in the book map you can see the buyers you can see the sellers and if you have level three maybe you have to pay for it then you can see the limit orders or the iceberg or the i the um Ice, iceberg orders. Yes, the ice mountain. Uh, iceberg? No, ice orders. I guess <laughs> I, it's the German word iceberg. <laughs> it's uh, the English word ice mountain. I don't know. It's the uh, the high, so the hidden orders. You cannot see level two or one. Only level three. So you can see, but only numbers. You can see in all the limit orders. Iceberg is correct. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Iceberg. So, uh, but only numbers. And that is supply and demand. So you see the sellers, they want to supply. And you see the buyers there, that's the demand. And at the end, you can see the value. How much contracts changed or switched from supply to, to demand and the more traffic we have there it's called liquidity so and as for us earlier in the stage earlier in trading couple of years ago when we didn't have software meta trader and so our mountain of ice <laughs> thank you very much uh, we didn't we People only worked with the order book. They wrote it on notes, so some stickies, you know, so some notes here, they write it down. That doesn't exist, or that didn't exist in the early stage of trading, in the history of trading, some meta trader or genome trader or something else. No, only the book map, only the order book. And about the numbers there, very experienced traders were able to see it's better to go long or to buy or to sell. Today, we are living in very comfortable uh, uh, times. We are living in the 21st century. Everybody is able to see what happened in the book map. Open your chart and you can see it. So everybody is able to become successful in trading. If you are willing, to change your mindset, to change your view and to have a note and to have to be attention about this basics here. So at the price, at the next point here, the price has two areas. Either we are fair valued or unfair valued. Made visible if you can use it by an indicator. But in my opinion, Okay, I know such indicators cost money. They are not priceless, I know it. But it's absolutely necessary, guys, that you have this one in your mind. So, therefore, the price plays the highest role in your trading. That's really important. Okay, the price, and you can see it here in this, uh, this stage, in this uh, slide, the price is the most important thing in trading. And as I said, the price can be the fair valued. Then you are in the red zone. You can see it here in the slide. That's the red zone. And you can see the black arrow and the blue, uh, the, uh, the bright blue um, uh, rectangle here. This is the red line. This is the so-called point of control. So, and the best balance, that is the best balance between supply and demand. And this is, as I said, a so-called point of control, this black arrow. So, and this is everything we have to know about the price, guys. But you need that information. Otherwise, you stumble a little bit blind into the market. Okay, you can work without the price information. But sometimes it's better you have this information because the highest probabilities are, occur, uh, are, are, are occurring in the unfair price value zone. That means 
the green zone. And prices have the behavior to always go back to the point of control, from lower to up or from the upper stage to the lower, to the point of control. It's always the same. That, guys, is the nature of trading. The absolutely nature of trading because prices will never be uh, uh, unfair valued, not for everlasting. That's the normal nature from, of, uh, of, trade, of, of prices, from unfair to fair and back or in the opposite direction. That's the role of the price. And I guess it's really, really important that you know that point. Okay. Guys, what role does the price play also? Prices changes. And based on constant change in supply and demand. And I know this is that basic topic, ladies and gentlemen, but you have to know that. More buyers means more demand. That means higher prices. The prices rises or the prices rise up. If you have more sellers, means more demand. Higher, uh, cheaper prices. The price will go down. Normal, that's the nature of trading. And guys, this constant shift between supply and demand leads to what? That's the result, that's the consequence, it leads to the trend. Let's repeat this slide because this is really important. Price changes are based on the constant changes in supply and demand. Sometimes you have more buyers. If you are in the accumulation phase, did you remember how does the trend, the trend occur? Uh, how does the, price, the trend uh, develop? Accumulation phase after every move, correction, then accumulation phase, the correction comes to an end. More buyers means more uh, demand, higher prices, more sellers. If you are in the move, means more supply, the price come back, cheaper prices. And at the end, with this constantly changing, you have movement and, cor movement and corrections, and at the end, a trend. So I hope it was a little bit understanding. More buyers than sellers, uptrend, vice versa, exactly, downtrend, and indecision, yes, literal phase. This is mostly of the times you have it in the accumulation phase or at the point of control. Absolutely right, Vincenzo, I guess you are a pro. I know you are a pro. So I cannot teach you something new things. Maybe we have to change the point. You have to, we have to change the spot. Maybe you have to make this webinar. I know you are really good in that, what you are doing here. So, but uh, I, I hope some... <laughs> oh, no, 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 I guess not, Vincenzo. I guess you're better than me in your trading. So guys, it's a great pleasure to have you here. Okay, what role does the trend play? So, and now we come to the next step. The trend, ladies and gentlemen, is the heritage of what you can see in the order book. We said uh, a trend consists movements and correction. And this is the right word, always, always, every time. The, the, there exists every time a trend, always, guys. And this is what you have to know the word heritage, the heritage of the order book. In the order book, only you can only see numbers. And the visible changing of this supply and demand, guys, you can see in the chart, in the trend. So, and now it's a little bit revolutionary. The time frame, basically, is not really important. It is all about the trend. So, and maybe you can ask Vincenzo when he tests, he will test or he's testing his EAs, he switched to the tick chart. But the tick chart has no time frame. The tick chart is the smallest trend you can see because it's only the, the pure heritage of that what you can see in the book map, in the order book. 
and the tick shot has no time frame. But one thing the tick shot has a trend. And if you have, if you would have enough history in the tick chart, you would be able to see the daily chart, the hourly chart, and maybe the five or one minute chart. If you have enough history, you can see the big moves, the big corrections. You wouldn't need a daily chart or hourly chart. It basically it would be enough you have the tick chart, but for that you need enough history. And this is very, uh, it's very expensive to have, a, you have uh, to get this um, uh, uh, history. So for us, it is easier to take the time frames, but especially it would be enough to open the hourly chart. With enough history, you can see what you see in daily chart. So maybe the small trend in daily chart is the same trend like the medium trend in hourly chart, or maybe the, high, the, the, the main trend. And the small trend in hourly chart is maybe the medium trend in five minute chart. That's really easy, guys. So especially some traders are work with no time frames, with, uh, only with trends. So like Renko charts uh, and something different things. So that's not mine. Uh, I need a little bit this orientation for hourly and daily chart. But basically, if you have enough history in the hourly chart, you don't need have a look. You don't have to. You don't need a look uh, to have. You don't need no. You don't have a look. Oh my God. Let me let me think about it. You don't need to have. I guess yes. You don't need to have a look at the daily chart. <laughs> oh my God. Um, to see how is the trend in daily chart. If you have enough history, you can see it in the hourly chart. So every time frame has three trend sizes, three, three trend sizes. Let me drink something. Um, see, I guess I need beer, of course. Every time frame has three trend sizes, the big, the medium, and the small. And every single trading setup, guys, is based on a trend. That's the next point, what is really revolutionary. Every single trading setup is based on a trend. Hmm. Let me explain that point. Maybe you make a breakout. You know, breakout? What is a breakout? A breakout means a breakout above or below, whatever you trade long or short, the last high and this the last high is the end of the movement and you could see the correction and you are speculating on a breakout and a breakout means nothing different than a trend continuation this breakout doesn't mean nothing else like a trend continuation there's no breakout without the trend even you have a small trend, a small trend here, a small trend. It's a breakout above or below the last point two. It's always the basement, the foundation is always a trend. Or maybe you have, uh, how should I say, shoulder head shoulder uh, formation in trading. It nothing else, something, it's just a trend. You have uh, the move, you have the shoulder, you have the correction, the head. So the next one, again, next shoulder, but it's a trend in a higher time frame, or in with more history, you could see it's only a correction in a stable trend. This is really, really important, guys. So you don't need to learn so many formations or patterns or setups in trading. Learn to recognize the trend. This is the most important thing, tries and trend. So the first decision is which trend you want to trade. As I told you, big, medium or small. And this decision is based on your account size and your available time. If you are a full-time trader or a part-time trader. If you are a full-time trader, guys, then if you are a full-time trader, you have time 
to uh, sit in front of your PC and you can watch the small trends. You can trade the small trends because for that you uh, have to be available all the time and to your charts. If you are a part-time trader, it makes no sense to make a small to trend uh, to trade the small trend uh, in five minute or an hourly maybe an hourly chart. So it's better you have swing trades because then you are you must not be able to sit in front of your PC all the day. It's enough to have to keep have uh, to have an uh, to have a look at the chart sometimes maybe one a day. So absolutely, um, it's absolutely enough to do that. So a real and that's on our agenda. A real and valid trend, guys, has four crucial points. You can see it here in the slide. Point number one, a trend starts. Maybe you could see that after a trend break. The point number two, in the long trend, of course, is the first high. The point number three is the first correction point. And point number four is the second high or a new point two, and now the trend is valid. After a move and the correction, you don't have a valid trend. Only you have the next movement with the breakouts above the last point two, then you have a valid trend. Yes, you can see Ross Hook, uh, maybe it's, you can give it whatever you want for just name whatever you want. At the end, it's only a trend. If you give it a Ross hook or something else, yes, I know all that. But if you say it's my blonde point and it's the black point, it's the red point. Uh, so like uh, the hairstyle of your, of your girlfriend sometimes, or if you give it some other names, as a Bavarian guy in German, I, I use it to take it really easy. Uh, it's enough to can if you can count to three. One, two, three. You have a one point, you have one point two, and one point three, and then the next point two. So you, it's enough to if you can count to three. One, two, three. So then you have a valid trend, and then you can make your trend out coming off the next correction. That is a real trend. And now you have to figure out which trend you want to trade: the small, the medium, or the big one. So and. Let's see some for the last minutes. Let me show you the real life examples for that. And let's switch to the market. For example, we have here maybe this one. Let me see a little bit more history. So what you can see here, now you see, let me draw it for you. Where is my painting program? I need my painting program. Where is it? My painting from just a moment. Uh -huh. That is my painting, my drawing program. Drawing, it's a drawing program. Here we go. So there we are. So let me show you this one. So this is, let me show you the main trend, the big one with enough history, with a little bit more history, but I don't know how it can make more history here in MetaTrader. This is the first move. Oh, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. That's the first move up here, then the correction. And now remember, do you have a valid trend right now in the big one? No, you don't. Because at the moment, you don't have a close above last, last point two. Now you have a point one, two, and maybe three, here with a question sign, cause for real to point three correction, we need a close here above the last point two. So we don't have a valid big trend. Okay, let's figure out the medium trend. For the medium trend, you can scroll in a little bit, scroll in. So now you have this, the medium trend. You can start this one, maybe movement, correction, now movement. So now, point number one, point number high, point two, point number three, not four, no, it's a new point two. Now you have a valid trend. So you see, then you got the correction, it's a new point three, and then trade outcoming of the correction, 
trend continuation. So here is then the next correction. And now we are speculating on the next movement to the next trend continuation. This is the medium trend, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, next 0.2 maybe. This is the medium trend. So let's see the small trend. Let me see the small trend. Do we have a small trend right now? Hmm. Let's see how we can make it this one. So let's start here. This is the small one. Movement, correction, movement, correction, movement. And then we had the trend break here. So then we had a short trend. You see small, movement, correction, movement but the trend break here then a new uptrend movements oh sorry correction and do we have a trend right now no because we don't have a close here above the last point two but you could see if we scroll it in or we scroll out you can see three things let me draw it for you first of all the not valid big trend movements, correction, maybe move. Then we have the medium trend. Medium trend, movement, correction, movement, correction, movement, deep correction, maybe trend continuation. Maybe I otherwise would say shoulder, head, shoulder inverted, maybe. But it's an uptrend at the moment. And now you have the small one. You have the small one. Let me take this one. You see movements, correction, but without the valid trend right now. So you see, we have a not valid big trend, a not valid small trend, but we have a valid medium trend. So, and that's all the same thing you can do. So you can make the same thing in hourly chart. Maybe it's the S&P 500. Let's switch to the five minute chart. You can do the same there. Oh my God, just over the time. So that's the last point. So let me see the big trend. Can you see the big trend right now? The big trend maybe is, um, yes, this is the big trend. Uh, let's see this one, but not valid. Not valid, you see, correction, and now on track. Point two, not valid. Hmm. Can we see the medium trend? The medium trend is this one. Movement, correction, movement, correction, movement, correction. And then you could see the trend break here. What do we have right now? Maybe we have a new uptrend. Movement, correction, movement. And here in the correction right now. And then we will continue. That's the medium trend. Do we have a small trend, an uptrend or a small trend? Of course. Movement, correction, movement, correction. You can see it's the same movement correction. And I guess now we are a little bit in a move to the up. Okay, this is a short at the moment. So you see that point, that point guys, that point is really important. You can learn it, not by this webinar. You have to follow more webinars. You can learn it like in my Daho family for example. And now you can see at least the last two minutes we have the price. You have an unfair value price and we have a fair value price. You see the fair value price is the red zone with the point of control, with the point of control here, that's the point of control, the fairest price. And you can see it's always the same. The price goes by a trend, let me draw it here, by a trend, up to the point of control, we'll leave them with a trend and of course we'll go back again. Away from that by a trend and always go back. And this is what you have to learn. The price and the trend, ladies and gentlemen. And this is the point why the trend and the prices are the most important things in trading guys for well, Unis, i will i cannot uh, explain that here because i give you the answer in battle of titans so guys i hope you learned a little bit and as a conclusion 
The price, guys, is the foundation of every type of trading. The price gives you insights into your underlying. The trend occurs as a result of price, and you have uh, yes, as a result of price, and you have a big, medium, and a small trends. And every trend has four crucial points: the start, the first high low, a correction point, and of course, a second high and low. And therefore, guys, you have um, you have this that the information why the price and the trend is so much important. That was my part, guys. I hope you learned a little bit about price, price and trend. And now I want to invite you to uh, join my wonderful colleague, um, Jens, on Friday at the same time, three German time, of course. Um, and you will learn about the traits of uh, the traits of successful traders, including discipline, patience, self-confidence, self-dependence, humilities on Friday, three. And of course you will get your email. And if you want, it would be a great pleasure for us. If you look or if you watch this video or this uh, webinar again on YouTube, give us the chance to become more, to become better. Give us our critic, give us our opinion about this webinar, give us a like or share it with your friends on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever you want. It would be a great, great pleasure for us if you would, if you will do that, guys. For more analysis and education, admiralmarkets.com. I'm almost punctually, guys. Thanks for your time, for your lifetime. I wish you a great rest for your rest of your day. We'll see each other next week, same time, different topic, and be careful about your thoughts because you know they are the beginning of your actions. Bye-bye.